Hey guys, Andrew here. It's a nice and rainy day outside. Today we're gonna be making some pork tacos. We're gonna make some homemade corn tortillas plus a nice salsa to go with it. Now we have to start on cooking the pork right away. So make sure to preheat your oven to 190 degrees Celsius and the Fahrenheit counterpart. So let's get started. All right, so I have here about one and a half kilos of pork shoulder and I have a variety of uh, vegetables and spices here. Let's first make our spice mixture for the pork. I have here some Spanish paprika. I'm going to use about one tablespoon. That's about one tablespoon. I'm going to put half a teaspoon of cumin because it's such a strong spice that you don't want to put too much of it. So just half a teaspoon of this. Just open it up. It doesn't fit. So that, half a teaspoon, one teaspoon of garlic powder, three whole teaspoons of salt here, three. Black pepper, put about, I guess I'm gonna say a, a teaspoon of black pepper. And we're gonna put a teaspoon as well of uh, sugar to give it uh, some sweetness, balance out all the flavors here. Let's mix this up, okay. And we're gonna cut our vegetables. So for our vegetables, we have here some onions tomatoes and one bulb of garlic. This doesn't have to be super like uh, precise or anything. I have, I have here the pan where I'm gonna put the pork shoulder in, a deeper one, cause I'm gonna put some liquid later. So for the garlic, just cut it in half, the whole bulb, and that'll be fine. Just put it there. And then the onions, just wanna peel it. So just cut this uh, probably once more like that. So quarters. And then tomatoes, just remove the bottom. See, my knife is sharp now, guys. You have to sharpen your knives. Really, really important. Like that. And then just dice them up like that. All the vegetables are inside the pan now. We're gonna put the spice rub first. And then we're gonna transfer it. Because I just want to make sure that every bit of the pork has that spice rub. And then spice rub, just... I'm gonna put everything, okay? It might seem like it's a lot, but really, it's just gonna be just right later. Especially once the pork releases all its uh, natural liquid inside. And then once that's all mixed up... You know what? I forgot some chili flakes. I'm just gonna, just gonna add it once I put it here. So here the pork is nice and mixed. I'm gonna put about just a pinch of chili flake. Uh, again, not too spicy, just to give it a little kick. Just for the liquid of choice, you could put stock here. Uh, I prefer to use beer because the carbonation of the beer or any carbonated drink, but not too sweet because it might just burn in the pan. will help it. It's raining outside. Uh, will help it tenderize the meat uh, faster. I am using San Miguel Pele. I'm using San Miguel Pale Pilsen and just taste it. It tastes like beer. So just put it here. I have here aluminum foil and it's gonna cover the top. Cover it nice and tight. Pop this in the oven for one or one and a half. Sorry, one and one or one and a half hours or until the pork is like super super tender. So for the salsa, I have here some raining really hard. I have here some pineapple which have already been cut but it'll be so much easier to do this uh, with a whole pineapple so you can actually control how big or how small you want the cuts to be but I have to work with this since it's already cut. So just gonna cut this up. Just, you know dice, dice them up how, however you want it. So what we're actually gonna do here is we're gonna make a pickling liquid for it. Vinegar, salt, sugar and water. Just gonna bring it to a boil and then just let this pickle doesn't have to be so long since the pineapple itself is already sweet. You just want to give it like that nice zing. And we're gonna add some chili flakes as well to give it a nice contrast of flavor. This is enough for how many ever, how many people are eating because you don't really need a lot. And then I'm gonna put some chili flake on, uh, on here. You want to have a little spice there, okay? And let's start making the pickling liquid. All right, so for the pickling liquid, I have here some red cane vinegar. You can use whatever vinegar you feel like using. Just use a neutral, uh, Neutral flavor vinegar, you don't want to overpower whatever you're gonna pickle. So this is kind of neutral, a little sweet actually, not gonna lie. So this, I'm gonna put half a cup of vinegar here, a fourth cup of water. Then I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of sugar. And then a teaspoon of salt. You just want to let this boil until the vinegar is not too strong anymore so that the uh, pineapples can take it. And you want to cool it completely before actually adding it to the pineapple and chili mixture over here. For the corn tortillas, we're gonna be using masa harina. You can buy this in healthy options. This is just corn flour, basically. And I have here about three-fourths cup of 
masarina, and one half cup of warm water and salt. So first, I'm gonna put the ma the masarina here in a bowl. Put the warm water here. It looks really wet at the moment but like once you mix it it's just gonna all come together and once you feel that the uh, dough isn't really like uh, forming well just add a little bit what we're looking for here is a non-sticky dough and i forgot to add the salt add a pinch of salt it's fine so just mix that up mine looks like it's forming really nicely so just knead it in the bowl again i'm making a really small batch this batch will probably make 7 25 gram balls so if you need a lot more just double the recipe triple it you know so the dough is turning out really nicely you can kind of grab it in, in, with one hand and just knead it you know but you want it to not stick in your hand too much like you want clean fingers this is already good I'm just gonna form it into a ball I'm just gonna put some plastic wrap over it let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes and i'll just come back to you after that time so it's been about uh, 15 minutes now the dough is nice and rested we're gonna just portion it into uh 25 gram balls see nothing is sticking to the fingers so make sure to have a scale if you don't have a scale uh just eyeball it probably it doesn't have to be exactly 25 grams you can do it however big you want just gonna roll this up i have here some parchment paper last time i did this i used a uh, clean film or plastic wrap and it just kept sticking all the time oh yeah this is the alternative to a tortilla press in case you didn't already know that so i'm just putting some tape here so it doesn't fly all over the place maybe just does it need tape no it doesn't need tape we don't need tape so the way we actually want to do this is put it in the middle and then top it off with another one so use any heavy flat surface you have that's heavy enough and the way you want to push it is push it from one side to the other not just straight down you can do it straight down but in that way you can actually uh give equal amounts of pressure to the actual dough to make it really nice and round also i'll show you right now so here there and just push it now we want to press it really nice yeah there see so the dough is nice and thin. It's almost paper thin, but not really. This is really, really thin dough. And what you want to do is transfer it into a another parchment paper. And ta-da, look at that. A nice piece of tortilla. Once you're done, just wrap it with plastic and then just put it in the fridge until you actually want to cook it. All we're waiting now is for the pork to cook and to be really nice and tender so we can actually assemble the dish and have some tacos. It's taco Friday. I'm gonna post this on Tuesday, don't worry about it. So the pork is almost done cooking. We can now start on uh, actually cooking our tortillas. So here are a pan. Uh, you can use a non-stick pan. This is, I think this is a non-stick pan. Uh, but the most important thing is to make sure that your pan is really hot so that once the tortilla hits the pan, it's not gonna stick or anything. So just get this nice and hot. I have here a bowl with a towel so that once it cooks, you can just close it and it'll keep the tortillas nice and warm. So I feel like my pan's getting uh, really hot already. Just lay it in there. As you can see, the tortilla is nice and not sticking. Cook this for about, I don't know, like uh, a minute or a minute and 30 seconds on one side and then you can flip it. Actually, we don't want too much color. If you overcook this, it might get a little grainy or a little, a little tough. We still want it nice and tender. Nice and smoky. There, that's, that's the only color you want. Just spots of brown on one side. It's more cook it for like 30 more seconds and then your tortillas are done. So just uh, make sure you have the, you have your towel around here. So once this is done, you can just pop it like that. Just cover it with your towel. Right, so now the pork is nice and tender. It only took about uh, one and a half hours to cook. I just want to uh, chop this up into a, uh, two smaller pieces so it'll be easier to eat in a taco. So I'm not gonna chop all of this since I only have like, what, six, seven pieces of tortillas. So I'll just get the amount that I think I'll need. A little bit of the, the juice. I'm gonna bring it back here anyways. Just chop this up into smaller pieces. Not necessarily shred. I don't want, I don't like shredded pork that much or pulled pork. So just return all of this to the juices again. Let's plate it up.
All right, so time to taste it. I put pickled red onions because I think it needed more color and I'm sure it's gonna work well with this. For those OC people, I'm gonna get it all the way from here so it doesn't look like it's point. So here we go. Oh, I also made some makeshift uh, tortilla holders with a paper cup. Wala lang. Mm. Wow, that's so good. The combination of the pork and then the acidity and the sweetness of the pineapple and that little pickled red onion really helped and then cilantro just ah just i love it perfect uh, perfect taco tuesday dish and yeah so that was pretty good so i taught you how to make uh, tortillas how to make a simple salsa and i taught you how to make some nice pork so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe to tom goods media this is andrew again till next time peace